Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how and when to use the exclamation mark important command in HTML. Right, guys I'll be using uh, Microsoft Expression Web 4 to demonstrate uh, this tutorial. First things first, let me define a new site. So I'll, I'll go to site, I'll say new site and uh, the dialog box that pops up uh, you can actually see that uh, automatically web expression 4 has been decided by web expression or expression web as my default uh, root site folder or my site folder web expression 4 but does it actually exist if I go on to my desktop I can see a folder by the name web expression I can see another folder by the name web expression one which is right now my current uh, root site folder all right or the root folder but uh, when I actually decided that I wanted a new site expression web 4 decides that uh, I should be using a new folder which actually does not exist on the uh, desktop which is but fine so I'm gonna select the option empty site and I'm gonna say ok the moment I do that guys you'll notice that the folder has been generated moments ago let me show it to you alright now this folder out here did not exist a few seconds back has been generated just now and if I open it up for you guys there's absolutely nothing inside cool so that's how you actually generate a new site and uh, guys you can have a look out here I'm in the site view and uh, out here this is the the path for my new roots uh, root folder or the root site folder right next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say right click out here in the white area I'm gonna say HTML okay I'm gonna accept the name that uh, expression web 4 gives me which is default.html which is but fine I'm gonna right click once again I'm gonna say new and this time I'm gonna say a CSS file and uh, I'm gonna change the name to my CSS one dot CSS alright cool now guys what I need to do is I need to link the two up right so what I'll do is I'll click on default.html I'll double click okay which will open up default.html and next guys what I'll do is in fact let me first tell you guys that I'm using the developers workspace and I've set auto hide all panels to on and also guys I'm using the split view right okay uh, let's make sure that the cursor is blinking inside the body area guys out here okay next what I'll do is uh, inside the body opening and the closing tags guys uh, let me drop in an h1 element alright it will auto populate uh, the closing h1 element as well and then out here let me say this is heading 1 right also have a look out here guys I'm using the HTML5 doc type and I can easily change that if I go down out here where I get as a pop-up doc type and schema not as a pop-up but as a tooltip if I click out here I'm actually allowed to change the doc type and the schema from here right let me cancel it okay now if I click out here down below in the design area you can actually notice that it has inserted an h1 element on the web page alright guys let me go back to the site view after saving the changes and let me double click on my css.css to open it up right guys uh, most of you may be aware that when the the cascading style sheet is read it's read top to bottom
which means the rule that appears in the end actually takes precedence okay and if there's a conflict between an internal and an external style the internal will override the external okay and if we also have an inline style inline style has uh, the most importance uh, you know it will override the internal as well as the external style sheet but you see if the uh, the structure of your uh, HTML page is such that the uh, external style sheet sheet actually appears after the internal style sheet in the head of the document using the link tag in which case the external style sheet takes precedence over the internal style sheet but usually that is not the case uh, the in the internal styles actually appear after the external style sheet in the head of the, the document and that is why the internal style sheet sheets always take uh, precedence over the external style sheets anyways so in a nutshell what I'm trying to say out here is there are different levels of CSS and you know one CSS file may override the other right let me get back to my CSS 1.css alright I'm gonna create uh, two rules out here guys for the same element h1 right and I'm gonna say color and let me pick a color from here let's say brown alright and then I'm gonna come down out here I'm gonna write another rule for the same element and again I'm gonna go with color and this time let me pick a different color let's say pink deep pink right uh, let me save the CSS file let me get back to uh, default.html and guys now what I need to do is I need to link the CSS file with the default.html and how do I do that I can go to manage style attach style sheet browse for my CSS file and say ok and now guys you can see that the heading 1 has actually turned pink and that is simply because the rule that appears in the end is actually what takes precedence let me prove my point if I were to cut this rule and uh, get it down below here you see save it up go back to default.html you can see that it's turned brown and it's not pink anymore as we just uh, discussed that the rule that appears in the end actually is, uh, is the style that takes precedence now is there a way I can actually override this as I said there may be different levels of CSS and you may find uh, one uh, rule overriding the other which you may not want right and this is a very simple way to actually do that what you can do is I can come to the first style for the h1 element I can give a space I can give the exclamation mark and then I can type important right let me save the document up guys let me go back to default.html and you can see that the h1 uh, element has turned back to the same color the the, the deep pink all right so guys uh, the exclamation mark important command is one very useful command when it comes to troubleshooting or when it comes to overriding certain uh, css files over the other right so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial learn something from it and i hope to see you very soon with yet another uh, microsoft expression web 4 tutorial or it could be dreamweaver uh, could even be flash with action script 3 you have a good day guys bye bye peace